All right, welcome back to season two of our show. We're doing something real simple for you today. It's ham steaks. We're gonna show you how to get these guys dressed up and out onto the cooker. Stick around, don't go anywhere. All right, it's ham steaks on the grill today. So what's a ham steak? It's basically a ham that's cured. You'll find these in the supermarket and it's cut into steaks like this. Now, they're also pre-packaged too. You can find these in small packages, but you're gonna pay a lot of money for a small package of it. If you look at this, this was on sale. I got this for $9 on sale. And this thing weighs, it looks like it weighs, what are we looking at here? It weighs it's nine pounds, so almost 10 pounds. That's pretty cheap for 99 cents a pound. It basically comes to 99 cents a pound. That's what it actually is on the package, 99 cents a pound. So that's what we're looking at. So if you take this and give this to your butcher, he'll cut it up for you. Instead of buying them small in the package like this, I buy the whole ham, just like this, 99 cents a pound, and I'll hand it to my butcher and say, I'm buying this, caught this. And it's their job to do it. Otherwise you're gonna pay probably three times the price if they're in small packages. Let's show you how to get this season. Very simple, it's got a lot of salt, sodium, sugar in here. So you, you just wanna go basic with it. So what I do, is I'll go in with some olive oil. It's gonna set the color and keep them from sticking to the grill because it has a lot of sugar in here. And when you start firing up the grill on these guys, the sugar is gonna come out. And you need something to separate the sugar so they don't stick and you're gonna get a nice char on it. So just go in with a little oil. I'm gonna flip around both sides and grab them by the bone. So they stay together, just like that. And you just work with them. So I'm gonna grab this guy right here, get some more oil on him. I'm using one wet, one dry hand. I'm just gonna rub that on there. And don't be afraid to use the oil because you don't want these to stick. And when these get fired up, they're gonna release themselves from the grill. But until then, you just wanna do it that way. All right, so we're gonna get on a little black pepper. Now you don't have to use this. This is just what I do. I'll just season with just a little black pepper. This is a heavy gauge. So it'll go in here like this, put it in my hand so I can judge it out. You can do two sides, one side, Today, we're just gonna do the one side. It doesn't get any simpler than this. This is a fast go-to meal. You're looking to feed your family quick. You're looking to do breakfast on the grill. It goes great with eggs, sausages. I mean, you can really please the crowd and feed a crowd with this. And then, like I said, at 99 cents a pound, it's cheap enough. Grab them around the holiday times. They're always cheap around the holiday times and don't be afraid to stick one in your freezer. And guess what? That's it. So we're gonna put these to the side, get ready to get them out on the cooker. And while we're doing that, we're gonna show you another dish that goes along with this dish. Stick around, we'll be right back. All right, along with these ham steaks, we got some great cabbage and potatoes. So let's show you how to get it done. Right here we got our cabbage, we got some potatoes, scallions, variety of onions, there's some purple onion, white onion, variety of bell peppers. You could use any peppers you want. I'm using some red, some orange, and some green today. Just a little bit of fresh garlic and some scotch barnet. That's all you're gonna need. Into the pressure cooker we go with our potatoes. Now we're gonna put some liquid in here. Everybody's pressure cooker is different, so we're gonna get that going. And why that's going, bacon onto the stove with our cabbage. Let's show you how to get this done. All right, so we got some olive oil in here. It's starting to smoke a little bit, so we're gonna get our bacon in. That's the first thing you wanna put in. And we're gonna cook this down in batches. Now we're not adding any salt because it's already in the bacon.
Now this is nice because you can always heat this back up the next day, this cabbage, and have it with anything. This is a good cabbage not to just have it what we're having tonight. Our ham steaks, but it goes along with just plenty of different dishes. Usually I make this with ham hocks and all sorts of things. So we're gonna bake it in and get that kind of cooked down. Now when the bacon's cooking, I usually flavor it a little bit. I'll go on with some onion. And that's gonna kind of sweat down as the bacon's cooking in there too. And I'm not gonna wind up with like a burned bacon. So I'm not gonna overcrowd this pan, but I just wanna get it started with some onion too. Because you really don't want to get your bacon crispy. Because you're using it as a pork fat. Almost like a uh, fat fat. I'm just using a leaner bacon because it's a bit more meaty and healthier. I just keep working with it. Then we'll get that in. And I'm going to get some more onion in here. I'm going to get our purple onion in. I'm just throwing everything in stages. Dump our garlic. I got some garlic in the habanero in there. And as the pan cools down, I'm just giving it a chance to heat back up. chilly outside tonight for South Georgia so I would have used my outside burners or gas but I'm using the ease of electricity tonight. All right, I'm going to throw in some yellow, some green rather, scallions. We already put the white onion, yellow onion in. So now we're throwing our green onion in. Like I said, we're just going in batches. Kind of cooking things down. And it's on high heat. And that's what you want. Now as the bacon starts to cook down, anywhere our cabbage we go. All of it. It's gonna sit high in the pot here, and that's what you want. And it's gonna cook down in there. So just give it a quick shake. Now I put the, the hot pepper in here, that habanero. So I'm not gonna add any pepper. Usually I put some peppercorns in here. But we're gonna let this cook down. After this cooks down, about the last 10 minutes, we're going to put the rest of our bill peppers in. And we're just going to leave those off to the side by now because you still want some crunch to them and you don't want them to mush down and you want this pot to heat up again. So you want to give it a chance to get some more heat in here and let all this cook down. We're going to show you what this looks like in just a little bit. So we'll meet you right back here. Don't go anywhere. Seven minutes in. And this is where we are. As you see, the cabbage cooked down. This fire is not playing games with it. And I'm still cooking on high heat. This flame is wide open, or this electric eye is wide open. I didn't turn down this heat at all. And what it's doing is it's just sweating this cabbage right down. Now what I'll do, I've got a little white distilled vinegar here. I'm just going to add just a touch. It's just going to bring out the freshness of this. You don't like vinegar, you don't have to add it. But it's going to deglaze the pan as well too on the bottom. Because I got some bits down there on the bottom and I don't want to clean my pan later on this well too. So why not pick up the flavor and clean the bottom of my pot. You can see it down there. So our cabbage is getting real soft. 
cooking, I think I'm going to add just a little bit more vinegar because I like a lot of vinegar in my cabbage. For you guys that haven't had vinegar in cabbage, it's just it's beautiful. It just makes it nice and crisp. Just the flavor just it just punches it up. So, and it cleans your uh, your pan at the same time. So I'm just scrubbing underneath the bottom, getting up my little bits of bacon in there. Alright, so we're getting to where we need to get this. What we'll do is we'll turn down our heat a little bit. We're going to turn our heat down to probably drop it down to like a number 7. It was wide open on 10. We dropped it down to like a number 7 on this electric stove. If you're on gas, you would just drop it down, I'd say, halfway. And that's it. You're just going to keep stirring it. So I'm going to stir this for about another four minutes, and I'll meet you right back here. Don't go anywhere. All right. We're almost done here. So we're about 10 minutes in, and I'm going to drop all the rest of my bills. Just like that. Give them a stir. And the bell pepper is going to release a lot of liquid. So, what we'll do is that we're going to drop the heat down again. This time, I'm going to drop it down to about a quarter. I'm going to leave the hood to this open and not put a lid on. Because if you put the lid on, it's going to become real soupy and it's not going to give that water a chance to evaporate. And the bell peppers, they're the easiest to cook. And you still want a nice crunch to your bell peppers just a little bit along with the cabbage. So that's it. So what I'll do is just let it sit. And I'll come back and I'll stir it. Our potatoes will come out of the pressure cooker. We'll Line them up and we're done. We'll put the lid on and just let it sit into where our steaks are done. Stick around. Don't go anywhere. Cabbage is done. Our potatoes just came out of the pressure cooker. So what I'll do is I'll take our potatoes and I'll just place them around my cabbage. Just like that. Keeps them nice and warm. And I'm going to shut off my cabbage. while I'm waiting. So I'll just place them around there. And that's it. One in the middle. And what I'll do is I'm going to take this off the heat. Put it to the back. Like that. And put our lid on. That's it. Time to put our steaks on. Stick around. We'll be right back. Let's get these steaks on. So we're using the infrared tonight because I want to save time. We got this thing wide open. She's cooking hot. That's how you want to put these guys on. I'm using the spatula. to keep them together. Move that one up. And let's just get this one on. Just like that. So we're gonna close up. We're gonna meet you right back here. Don't go anywhere. Three minutes in and we got that needle buried. We're using the infrared. And that's what you, you want. You want to cook these real hot. Dry them out. Because they have a lot of uh, water in them. And by cooking them hot, you get that flavor on them. So let's flip them over. And that's kind of where you want to be. Like that. Let's see this guy here. I'm going to bring him down to a bottom level. 
and get him on the bottom. A little closer to that fire, it's a little bit bigger. I want to see what we got working with over here. He can use some more time over there. And we'll just kind of swap them around and swap them out. This one's going to be done first, so we'll put it back up there. I think we'll do that now. And then we'll drag this one down. All right, meet you right back here. Don't go anywhere. All right. We're letting this thing do its job. You can see how fast she's shooting up. She's cranking pretty quick. Let's turn them. That's the beauty of infrared. She cooks real hot with minimum flare up. Alright, so we're going to leave these on this side for just a little bit. Then we're almost done. We're going to pull them in. Stick around. Don't go anywhere. Alright, needle buried at over 700 degrees. I would say it's time to pull these. That one I want a little bit more crisp on that side, so I think I'm going to let that one go a little bit. But we're going to pull this guy. Off of the flame we go. There we go. Alright, we're going to bring these in. We're going to meet you inside. Stick around. Don't go anywhere. Alright, here we are. Season 2's chopping block. Let's take a look at what we got. Beautiful. Now, this is how you want to do this. You don't want to overcook them, but you want to cook them as fast as possible to maintain that moisture. So, let's see if we can get a little pitmaster taste going on here. They're really hot. And I'll just cut a little piece out of here. See, it's nice and juicy. It's not dried out at all. Excellent. Alright, let's plate this up. We're plating it up family style tonight. And we're going to plate it up a little bit different. Nice meal like this. Always deserves a good plating. Family style. So what I'll do. Is just put them in. A tray like this. Pull them back a little bit more. Put it down. I'm going to get some of that nice juice over top of them. Do I let that go to waste? All right, let's get those potatoes out we made in the cabbage. So let's bring that over. And there it is. Now what I'll do is I'll put our potatoes just kind of around the outside like that. This way you have some room. And just get them in there. Take our cabbage and we'll start putting our cabbage. I'm going to move this over. And we'll put our cabbage down on this end. See how everything got nice and soft?
The potatoes we're gonna put last, but we could just put our cabbage right around those steaks. This is a good brunch or any time. We usually have this the night before Christmas and it's very fast as we're making a bunch of other dishes. This one we'll put out because it takes no time to make as you just saw. And when you serve it up like this, it just looks fantastic. And if you have any leftover cabbage for the next day, it's great because you can use it for other things. All right, so I'm gonna do that. And we're gonna put a couple more potatoes just around the outside. Just like that. Drop some more over here. Never go wrong with too many potatoes. And that's how you plate that up. And you still have more cabbage left over. I'm just going to fill it up. And just get it in there. Just like that. And that should be about it. Get some on the other side. And there it is. Ham steaks or family style. All right, I'm gonna get to clean it up here and get situated. We're gonna meet you right back here. Stick around. Don't go anywhere. Alright, and there it is. Grilled up ham steaks with potatoes and cabbage, or cabbage and potato, however way you want to call it. With some fresh rye bread on the side. Served up family style. Can't go wrong with this meal. If you like this video and more videos are about to come, please don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe. We enjoyed having you. Until next time. I did that little pitmaster taste there.